Keenan and Cyrus. Now you guys do amazing work, just the two of you. You decided 11 years ago, right, to, hey, we wanted to do something for our community. What did you say? Well, Cyrus moved over here from California, where it's warm. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> when he came over, he had been doing this previous in California. And when he came over, he was like, well, it's cold here, so we should do a coffee stand. Because like, we did a lem lemonade stand, lemonade stand. So we did a coffee stand. Turned out great, so we kept doing it. And it's been, the, these guys are best friends, and they do so much good for our community. Now, this year, I remember last year you guys did your fundraiser after our food drive. This year you did it, what, last weekend, right, Cyrus? Yeah, last Saturday, actually. And what was it this year, and how did it go? Um, well, it went really well. A lot of people came out. We got a lot of great publicity, even from Channel 2, and that was <laughs> awesome. And we raised a lot of money, a lot more than last year. So that was okay, good. let's do the check presentation to Jocelyn of the Food Bank because this is so impressive. This amount just blows me away. All right, well, here you go, Jocelyn. Here is a check for $2,350. Oh, my goodness. Know, from, you know, just from two kids who are like, hey, we can do something in our community. What does this mean? This is unbelievable. Every single dollar is three meals. $2,350. I mean, that is amazing. That is a lot of coffee and a lot of cookies. <laughs> it certainly is. And we certainly, okay, wait, you're graduating and you're going to graduate this year. What are your plans? UNR. Okay, good. So you'll still be in the community. <laughs> yep. So we, you guys, well, I'm counting on you. Next year, same time, same place. You're a junior, so you have one more year of high school, right? Yep, one more year. Okay, so who is kind of the, the one that says, all right, come on, we got to do this lemonade coffee stand thing? <laughs> You're going to do it though, right? Yeah, definitely. And I'll, I'll rope him in too. Okay. There's no escape. Right. You never escape me. Yeah. There's no escaping Channel 2 either. Come on now. Anyway. Miss you too much. Oh, okay, good, good, good. I would miss you as well. It's always a treat to see you guys. So next year, same time, same place. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. All right. Thanks, you guys. Okay, now let's toss it down to Minden. Hey, Wendy, Adam Barahatsko here at the Carson Valley Inn. And earlier we talked to Sheriff Ron Perini at Douglas County with his set of Hot Wheels. Now we also have another set of Hot Wheels with Flat for Envy, the bunch of Subaru enthusiasts. We're here with Evan. How's, it, uh, how's your day going? It's going pretty good. Good. And just talk about what you guys have, uh, uh, have for us today. Uh, well, we brought in uh, roughly 200 cans for the food drive. Uh, we wanted to give back to the community. And just talk about why is that so important for you guys? For you guys. Well, we're, we're more than just a car club that wants to drive around and show off our cars. Of course, we love our cars, but we want to give back. We want to do more for the community because okay. we have something Where we can go? give. And uh, whenever right, someone Mike. can give, it's a great thing to give back to uh, the area we live in. And I understand you guys have a, a toy drive coming up. Just talk yeah, about that. We actually have uh, a toy drive uh, on Sunday, this Sunday, the 14th. We're going to be at Mills Park. Uh, we're going to be collecting all unwrapped toys and donating to Toys for Tots. And it's actually our second annual <laughs> Turbos for Toys drive. And so you obviously have your whole crew here. Mm -hmm. So with that said, uh, Jeff, let's go show each and every one of them. Everybody, give a nice little wave to the camera. <laughs> Flat for NV, everybody. Now let's send it over to our very own Chloe Beersley. All right, we got another check presentation for you guys. Not just one, but actually two. And I'm here with the members of Poe Bob, and that's a local biker group, and it's actually part of a larger national organization. And I'm here with Goose, who's going to tell us a little bit about how you guys get involved. And you're not just involved with Share Your Christmas every year, but a variety of organizations throughout the community. Yes, we participate in this every year. And we also put on, help put on the Reno Toy Run. We support Austin House, which is for abused children. And last year we brought money instead of food because we can do better with it. And this year we brought two checks, one from the National Charter and one from our charter. So they're $250 a piece and we'll give them to Don. All righty, and here's a check presentation to Don with the food closet. Don. You've got $500 to add for people this Christmas in need. How does it feel to be able to it's accept this? absolutely great. You know, it, this group has uh, been given for years, and we just appreciate it. it we, we get it every year, and it's, it helps us to support yeah, the rest quickly, of our community quickly. in need. 
Absolutely, and every little bit counts, and we really appreciate your generosity, not just for Share Your Christmas, but for all the good that you guys do in the community. It really means a lot to so many people. You know, some people may be down on their luck, especially we've got children who are even more in need of this food, and every little bit counts, and this $500 is going to go to a very good cause, and we appreciate everything that you give for us, and thank you so much. All right. Well, that's, that's what we have for our check presentation. We're going to have a lot more coming up, but before that, we're going to take a quick break. Thanks for watching.